All right, what's up, world? We are now in the presence of greatness. The Grandmaster Casanova Fly and my partner, the magnificent Disco Wiz. All right, that was the bill. One time, one time in 1977, in the summer, we decided to bring our system out in a park. To battle. To battle. <laughs> and we had a pretty big crowd. We was at 183rd Street, Valentine. The, the same park that we filmed the basketball scene in Wild Style. Right. Later, years um, later. We were out there. That was in July of 77. We were out there. We were in the middle of a frenzy battle. And uh, in those days, we used to plug in our stuff to a lamppost. And many a times we have blown lampposts out. Yeah, I all, mean, all the blown, street lamps yeah. just blow out. It blow out all, all the park, the, the, house, the park houses had outlets we would jack and put, our, and put our stuff into it. And this particular day, we were in the middle of a battle and it started getting dark early. And all of a sudden, Cavs was on the, on the one and twos. <laughs> and, uh, and we had our stuff roped off like always. Yeah. And then, the other DJ was like were on over side by side. They right. were over here, we were here. Right. So the, he did his thing, whatever, whatever. I'm just waiting. I got my two records ready on the right. turntable. I'm ready to bust. <laughs> All right. So boom, he turns off. It's my turn. I throw on one record over here. Boom, the crowd is going nuts. All right, because they know I'm going to get into my thing. I take the other record, right? And this is what this is going to kill him. This is the one. All right. So boom, time come. Boom, I bring in the record. The record goes, dun, 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 dun. ah, love, 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 love. The light blew out. The, the whole electricity, the whole, the whole light blew went out. Off. The whole set went off. Two lights then, blew out. The street lights started going out, one at a time, all the way up the block, like poof, 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 poof. We looked at each other. We said, what we happened? Looked at each other. <laughs> We thought we blew we out thought the We thought we did it. The whole neighborhood went dark. And you know what it was? Blackout. It was the blackout of 77. blackout. It we was, were, we we were was in the park in the with park our equipment. With all our stuff. The crowd, they went realized crazy. at the same time, it's like everybody was kind of, hey, what's going on? What's, hey, what's up? Blackout! <laughs> then we started hearing smashing windows and gates started coming gates started down on the bodegas. The stores started closing up, but they couldn't close fast enough. The crowd, half of the crowd headed towards us, started but, running towards us. But we had guns. So <laughs> we had to fight We pulled them out guns and were like, run that way. <laughs> Don't run to the equipment. It was, Everybody it, ran that it was way. insane. It was, it it was, was insane. Oh, it, it, was, crazy, it was something yeah. I'll never forget for as long as I live. I mean, it's. It's bad enough if you hear stories of people who, who, who actually lived through the blackout. You could imagine having a whole system out there. In the, during the blackout. And, and a crowd. Right, right, a block off of one of the main shopping areas in the Bronx, yeah. okay? People were walking by the park. Before we got our equipment home, we saw, I mean, families carrying furniture down the street, televisions, big, I mean, t safes. It's okay. funny. Everything, people. Okay. It's funny because I have a theory. I said, I always tell him, I said, you know what? Before that blackout, you had about maybe five legitimate crews of DJs. After the blackout? After the blackout. Everybody was a DJ. You had a DJ on every block. Everybody stole you, turntables and Everybody stuff. hit. Broke every electronic the... store imaginable guy hit for stuff. And every record sprung, store, that everything, whole, and that sprung, and that, and that, 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 that little blackout, or oh, that big blackout, made a big spark in the hip hop revolution. That's true. Revolution. You know, I never, you know, of course, you got to do more interviews. With <laughs> really? I was actually on the phone with one of my friends. I was living in 149th and Riverside, at my grandmother's house, and uh, as I was on the phone with a little honey, the lights went out. I said, "Yeah, my lights are going out." I said, "My lights went out too." She's in the Bronx. I'm in Manhattan. I'm like, hey, what's really going on? But no, I didn't go out. I didn't loot. I didn't do any of that stuff. I stayed home with Grandma. You know, we went downstairs and stayed in the neighborhood. And went. But the next day, it was like all of New York was on sale. <laughs> the blackout, I was sitting in front of my, my mother, in front of my, the building I lived in. My mother wouldn't let me leave the block. 
Everybody was looting. I mean, at that time, they was taking mopeds. A lot of people were stealing mopeds because that day had just came out, and that's what everybody wanted. Um, at that time, if I knew where Sam Ash was, that's where I would have been trying to get. 